What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today, we're looking at the Reddit page, Upper Left Submissions. We're up to 36 members already, which is awesome. That's a huge leap from the eight we had last Saturday. I figure we'll probably just do this every Saturday, depending on how many posts we get, if you guys like it. I think it's kind of fun. I think we should jump right into it and take a look at what we got going on. We're going to go to New. Let's see what the first view is. Monster Betty and not yet Mega Deadbolt plus TRX4s. Let's take a look. This is by Double A Day. Got a sweet little, oh, the Deadbolt's got, these wheels are cool. It's got some serious suspension though. Look how tall this thing sits. That's pretty awesome. We got some, these look like monster truck tires off of uh, maybe like a monster truck toy or something, but the green really fits well with the Betty, and then we got the TRX4 with the Chevy in the back. That's pretty sweet. Good flex photo. Yeah, those are definitely like toy grade tires, but they fit really well on the Betty. Or at least I think they are. The, the plastic looks like it might be off of a monster truck toy, but it's a good fit on that thing. Pretty sick. Ooh, hold up a minute. We got the TRX4 Chevy body, and then we got the Ford Bronco as well. You got two TRX4s. Let's take a look at these wheels. Those look a little different, maybe. I think you have two TRX4s. Maybe you don't. That's pretty cool, though. Love the flex on the Coke can. And just to make sure you got that suspension maxed out, you slid the old flip pocket knife under there. That's pretty cool. This thing looks dirty as heck. You definitely get some use out of it, and I dig it. Nice trucks, man. That is a cool collection. And you can't go wrong with the salt and pepper in the background. That's solid. It's my favorite part of looking at these photos is the stuff in the background. Last week, we had a guy with a landline, which is crazy. This week, we got salt and pepper grinders. Very cool, man. Upvote for you. Love the photos. A little more progress on the outdoor track. Okay. Ooh, I like the retaining wall with the sticks here. That's pretty awesome. Got some little white picket fence stuff or signs or something. It's pretty neat. Got some sod or some lighter sand or dirt over here. Very cool. Coming along, man. Naiko 8473. Very cool. And I like that it's already kind of like a natural planter bed style area in the house. Looks like you might have a horseshoe pit or something over here. That's pretty sweet. It's a good party backyard. I like the rocks and stuff, so clearly you can come around here. Up around this tree, you got some stuff set up for the little trucks, logs, and sticks along the way. Very, very cool. And then these little planted trees, bushes. You even got what looks like maybe a little hole there on the side with some uh, sticks for over the hill or over the hole. A little bridge there. Very cool, man. Nice build. This thing is awesome. I like it. Nice job. Very, very cool. And this gives me some ideas for stuff I could do in mine as well. I like the, the sticks stuck in there for like a border fence style thing. Come up and around. Very cool. Upvote for you. Nice job. Custom SCX24 Dually. Wow. Look at that thing. I like the smiley face here. I doodle like that too when I'm bored, especially on stuff that's already got paint and everything. Why not? We got the dually. Got the fair, flared fenders. Oh, you got the sweet back stacks coming out the back. This looks like a truck that is in my local redneck neighborhood around here. It's pretty cool. Like the, uh, is that maybe a winch or something? I'm not sure. Looks like it might be some sort of winch thing. You've even got the headlights and the bumper lights. Nice. You got the light mod on there. Some nice aggressive tires. Love the dually. That's cool. And then, ooh, hang on. Two transmitters. Got to be another another truck around here somewhere. Let's see. Got the half half jug for like a fuel tank or something in the back. Very, very cool. Love these dually wheels. I don't know if those are 3D printed or where you got those, but that looks sick. Those rims with the super deep dish. That's awesome. This is the stock rim in the front here, it looks like, that comes with the uh, teal or green axial. I like the fender flares too. That's pretty awesome. And got to have the brass diff covers. Yeah, the, the dualies in the back. That's pretty sick. I'm curious to see how this thing crawls. It It's probably an absolute animal because you still got four-wheel drive with all that added traction in the back. I doubt you're getting stuck anywhere on that thing. Very cool, man. Nice job. That is Dizzy Economics 5944. Very, very cool, man. Love the truck. Love the mods. This is what it's all about. When you get these SCX 24s or these 24 scale RCs, customize them. Go crazy. All of it looks cool. Nice job, man. Upvote for you. What do we got next? Let's see. I'm scrolling too fast. Gotta make sure I don't miss anything. SCX24 fire truck. Oh, okay. Same guy. Yeah. I knew there was another controller. So you got two SCX24s. This one 
Looks like you took a toy fire truck and found a way to mount it on there. That is pretty awesome, dude. Super detailed. Looks like it might be a, a kid's toy or something, but it's a really detailed one. So you get a lot of cool stuff. All the chrome, mirrors, little fire hose on top. Very, very nice. Oh, two piece. Okay. Take the front off. Looks like you maybe painted the chairs. Give it a little more detail on the inside. This was probably unpainted at one point. Hot glue. Dude, best stuff to mount with. Seriously. You can't go wrong with some hot glue on these trucks. That's how I mounted the lights in my Jeep. This is the Chevy body, I think. You got two Chevys maybe, because these look like the stock Chevy tires. The SCX24s, I could be totally wrong, but that's what the rims look like from here anyways to me. Looks like it might be another one of the Chevys, but very cool, man. This is a cool project too. Going way above and beyond, over the top, taking bodies from other stuff and just throwing it on there. I mean, the, the Dually's cool because it's modded. This one is just a whole new truck, a whole new animal. Very nice. What we got here? Made doing my grandma's backyard, my SCX24 Hummer, my dad's Betty with a blower. Only one with one online besides me. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, Betty's got the blower. That is a muscle truck move. Very, very cool. And then this Hummer, this is neat, man. I don't know where you got the body for this. Another 24th, maybe even a 28th scale die cast that you got on there. Got the bumper out front over here to fill up the space where it kind of... Uh, it doesn't quite fit too well, but it fits nice enough to where it looks pretty neat. I like that. Some sweet aftermarket. These are maybe trail rims, if I had to guess. Tan top. Yeah, I like that. This, See, this is what I'm talking about. Same with the fire truck. Put these custom bodies on here. Full modification. Very, very cool. Looks like this is the only photo, but I really like this. It's awesome. And the blower. Such a simple touch, but it adds so much to it. Really fun. Upvote. That was uh, Derek LED 70. What we got here? Video. All right. We'll skip the, the audio. It sounds like there's music in the background too, but I do like those wheels and tires you got on there. This is the, those look like the rock creepers on some steel beadlocks, maybe RC four wheel drives on the Element RC Enduro 24. Got the blue and red body, very cool. It's got good looking suspension, good twist, good fit on that thing. Good look at the suspension. Got the stock tires for the Enduro here. You got, these are definitely, um, SCX 24s, that's either Jeeps or deadbolts there. Yeah, look, look like you got a pretty sweet course back there too, man. What's going on there? Oh, that looks like a, maybe a Panda Hobby Ford back there, the Bronco. This is pretty cool. Jason's RCs. And I'm wondering, is this the same... This track looks familiar. There's a guy out there that made a uh, baby grave digger that is really, really awesome that has a course that I think looks pretty similar to this. It's a pretty cool YouTube page. We'll have to track that down and check it out if it's not here. Upvote for you, though, man. That's pretty awesome. I like that. And I'm going to have to go back and watch it and listen to what you say. But because of the music, I'm going to get to keep that out there. That looks like a Panda Hobby, uh, one of those old Fords, too. Got some Panda Hobbies. Got a pretty neat collection going. Take a look here. Last two picks, Chevy has stretched front end by J6E0R2. Dang, look at those tires. Those things are meaty as heck looking. Those are sick. So this right here, this looks like a, this is a Panda Hobby, I'm pretty sure, because it's got these big bulky suspension and they have a, a body like this. But this looks custom painted. I, I haven't seen one that comes with that paint job, but that is pretty, pretty cool. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know. I have a Panda Hobby on the way. People keep asking me if I'm ever going to get one. I do have one on the way. Um, these links in this frame look like an SCX24, though, but maybe it's not. Maybe they're just similar. These, I forget what these are called, Patagonias or something. These wheels are pretty cool, these tires. And this thing, this axial, I love that you did the chrome. I don't know if it comes chrome or if you just painted it to look silvery chrome like that, but these wheels and tires look sick, dude. Nice job. Hanging out in the kitchen, kitchen crawling, and you got a whole jar full of sweet and low. What's going on, dude? Come on now. <laughs> what else we got? A what are these mud? What mud slingers? Is that what that tire says? It's hard to tell. This is pretty sick though. I like this. This is a really aggressive big tire for this truck, but it really ties it together. That makes that thing look so cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Chevy has a stretch front end, so this this is the Chevy. This must have the stretch front end, and I can see now that the tire is pretty offset to the front. I mean, the front of the tire sticks out further than the front bumper. Maybe that's perspective for the photo, but I bet that thing's got the best approach angle you've ever seen in your life. Oh, yep, got the wheel spacers. Okay, so you got a wide stance on it too. And these, 
These are so cool. These are aggressive tread too. I like that. Looks like you might have a light bar up in front of the light rack here. Got a light going up to it, so that's pretty cool functioning light. The brass weights with the spacers really gives it that wide look. That's pretty awesome. Got that Febreze game on point. What? That's sweet pea, man. I know what that is. My wife covers the house with that stuff. It's good smell. Good call, good call. And a white dolphin back here. Pretty soon it's just going to be him looking at stuff in the background. <laughs> you got this white ceramic dolphin doing a back bend. You got what looks like some wine, some sweet pea Febreze. Got a belt. It was a long day. I had to take the belt off, set it on the counter, get some photos in real quick so we can look at them tonight. Good call, good call. <laughs> and then a family member or you can't tell right here anyways back to the truck truck looks cool man upvote for you that's awesome that was by j6e0r2 nice post man what we got here let's see what we got going on outdoor trail track oh is this the one we looked at earlier i think it is okay okay so that photo was further along because there was sand and stuff earlier you had some bricks breaking it in. Yeah, this is just the early starts of it. So that photo is later on. You dug the hole, I think, right here and put the sticks over it, which was cool. Had it come up here. You had some little trees and bushes. It's already come along quick. What, this was, uh, what, five days ago? Where are those photos? That's definitely the same spot. And this was two hours ago. Yeah, so it was just these walls here and nothing else. Yeah, you do it. That's quick work right there, man. Nice job. All right, we got here. Derek Led 70. Happy Easter, y'all. Got this M9 MN99S Friday. Haven't put the door handles and lights on yet. Got the Easter egg. Nice. Let's take a good look at this thing. I'm not sure what the MN99S is or what brand that is, but this is pretty cool. Looks like a little two-door shorty defender. But this is pretty cool, man. Nice photo. I like this. I'll have to look into this MN99, MN99S. Upvote for you. Very cool, man. I wish there was more in the background so I could... Oh, I see a leg. That's clearly a table. <laughs> nice one, man. Appreciate the submission. Very cool. What do we got here? Hooked. What are you hooked on? Is this Phonics? Is this truck called Phonics? You're hooked on it? <laughs> oh, I like the black bumper. Does mine have a black bumper? Oh, it does. Okay. That's awesome. What do we got here? These are some treel, treel rims, it looks like, probably. And are these Mickey Thompson Baja Claws? No. Maybe. Well, maybe. Maybe. Like the truck. Very cool photo, man. Love the trees in the background. It's faded. Good photo. Got the light coming through. That was not a first try attempt right there. That's a good job. And you've got lights in here, it looks like, in the front. But you still got the stickers over them. You installed the LED lights and then left the stickers. <laughs> That's all right. Nice house in the background, too. All right, what's a C-full image? Oh, it's a tall image. That's why it was like that. Okay. Well, now we get a good look at it, that's for sure. Let's take a look at these wheels. These trio. Oh, Baja Claws. Nailed it. These are Mickey Thompson Baja Claws. Check that out. Got the, uh, this looks like a trio diff cover. The black. I like the black. I was looking at these because the brass is just a little bit too colorful. Suspension's got some, like, brass-looking stuff here. That's pretty sick. Let's take a look at this side. What else we got? Not sure if that's trail or hot racing or something, but that is pretty cool. There's definitely lights behind this. You peel them stickers off, man. They peel right off. No residue. <laughs> Very cool. It looks like pine cone. It's got to be a pine cone, right? That might be too big for a pine cone. I don't know. Either way, very cool photo. And that is from Upbeat Papaya 7107. Very cool. Oh, we got another photo. Nice. Okay. Let's take a look. Creeping in the window first. What do we see? Mm, nothing good. Dang. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is Treel, but I think it is. And these definitely are. I can see it says Treel down here now. They make some pretty cool stuff. Oh, these are uh, all metal drive shafts too. I didn't even notice. This is a full metal axle. Those are not cheap, dude. You have dumped some money into this thing. But that's what it's all about, right? Got the hot racing. Okay, 51 millimeter. You got the hot racing links. Get a little bit of hot racing, a little bit of treel, a little bit of rock and roll. Maybe the sunlight's just hitting that weird, and those could just be regular silver ones, and the, the sun's casting a shadow, but I'm not sure. You know what? I don't. Maybe the sun was just shining through. No, you definitely have lights in there. You got to. Got to. And then the treel sticker. Got a rep. Nice job, man. Very cool truck. Super clean. Super, super clean. I love the look of the all black you got going on with the black rims. 
subtle touches of black, but it just really ties it together. Very, very cool truck. Excellent modifications, man. I'm hooked as well. Let's see. I am trying to build my first indoor crawling course. I want a nice hill I could climb in one corner, but I don't want to waste space under it, so I turned it into a cave. Let's check it out, dude. Let's take a gander. All right, we got some expanding foam for sure. Got the Jeep, SCX24. Oh, okay. So the hill goes on. So there's platforms holding this up. There's definitely an upper level. Made it just big enough for these to turn. One thing you got to keep into consideration that I've learned now after building a couple indoor mini courses, especially with limited space, these do not have a great turning radius. <laughs> they just don't. So you really got to maximize your ability to spread stuff out to the very edges of courses. And I think that's a lot about what he's talking about. So yeah, very cool, man. I love, love the all gray paint. Love the cave look. You did really good. That's a solid, solid thing. That was from Hat FMNEL. All right, next, Jason's RC is back at it again. What do we got here? Dang, look at this thing. That is an aggressive looking truck. All right, so we got the upgraded servo. Nice. We got the steering links. Seriously, guys, hot racing steering links are awesome. If you get a new upgraded servo, these links are incredible. Got to check them out. Painted the uh, servo horn if it wasn't already painted. Very cool. This is the deadbolt front bumper. Awesome. Good implementation on the Chevy. Fits well. Got the super spacers. <laughs> These things are sticking out like crazy. This thing is awesome, man. Yeah, got the brass, uh, brass steering knuckles. I like the red tow hooks. They match the red badge. This is actually really cool. I didn't think to mount this to the Chevy, but that is pretty awesome. These are the rock creepers. These are what I got on the Jeep. These, I, I think these might be the best aftermarket tires you can get right now for these SCX24s. They're so sticky. And when I got mine dirty the other day on the Jeep and then washed them after I got them wet and I dried them, they were super tacky. That thing could have climbed anything at that point. It was nuts. This is a very awesome Jeep, man. You got any more photos? Or not Jeep, Chevy. <laughs> Mine's a Jeep. Oh, heck yeah. Let's get some of that, huh? What is this? What What? What, what is it? What, what is this, man? What is this? These are sick. You got the skid plate. Okay. Got the skid plate. This looks like it's an aftermarket motor. Does not look like the stock one. You peeled the sticker off if it is, but it, I th I'm pretty sure they're black though underneath. So this right here, I'm curious. This I got to know about, man. What is this? I want this. I like the, the clearance. There's crazy clearance under this thing without... Normally the, the shafts are straight. These are bent. They're red. They're sick. You got another skid plate here. Got some sweet aftermarket shocks. This thing is dope, man. What a cool build. Love the look of this. Okay. So these might be hot racing. They look like the hot racing ones anyways. They've got the adjustable, so you got the dampeners turned way down, but you got some pretty soft springs on there because it doesn't look like it's sitting too hard. But you got these turned down, good adjustment. These are uh, RC four-wheel drive, I'm pretty sure, wheels. Man, I love the look of this Chevy. You did a great job on this. The red down here matches the tow hooks here, matches the little red Chevy emblem here on the front and the side. Just enough splashes of red to really tie the whole look together. Very, very awesome, my dude. Very cool. I am almost positive this is the guy that has the baby gravedigger. This course looks very familiar. And his, I want to say it was Jay's RC's, I think his username, Jason's RC's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the name of his uh, YouTube channel too. If you guys are curious, check him out. I know he doesn't have too many subscribers right now. And I think his videos are listed for kids because you can't leave any comments. I wanted to ask him about it or at least leave a comment about that sweet uh, baby grave digger I saw that he built. It had like red windows and stuff. It was pretty sweet. This guy has some cool stuff and some pretty neat content, so I hope he keeps it up. It's really awesome. But yeah, I love this Chevy. This is, if I if I do something with my Chevy, oh, he's got them on the front too. There's these red bent ones on the front too. I got to find out what these are. If any of you guys know, leave it in the comments where I can get these. Are these Treal? What are these? Those are sick. I want some of those. Dang it, I want those. Nice job, man. Definitely an upvote. Oh, did I upvote the last guy? Okay. My WPL so far. Oh, love the red painted diff cover. These wheels look sick. These look like off of a late 90s, early 2000s RC car kind of tire. They got like that gray black look to them. Oh, wow. Did not expect that. Let's get a closer look at this too. All right, so get the WPL with the flatbed, which is funny. When I took mine apart, I took the bed off and I was like, oh, I should do a flatbed or something. I don't know if you guys saw that video, but that's exactly what I thought about doing or, or wanted to do. I probably wouldn't or couldn't, but 
You were sitting on dubs on this thing, my dude. Holy crap. Got some tractor tires on this thing. Love the red, though. The red and black comp. I'm, I'm a sucker for red and black. Such a good red go uh, color combo. Just like that Chevy had just enough red with the black and the gray. Super cool. Star tires. Hmm. I'm going to have to look into those. Those are some monster, monster tires. Love the shocks, the shock towers coming out of the back. That's pretty sick. This looks like it was meant for this thing. Got the old fifth wheel hitch or gooseneck or whatever that is. Or maybe just a spare tire mounts on there. Very cool. Trimmed up the trimmed up the fender flares to fit these monster tires that's awesome very awesome truck man very cool love that my track at home all right let's take a look you man you already got well i thought it said nine but you have eight upvotes <clears throat> it's crazy whoa dang what do we got going on here hold up wait a minute this this right here is a course holy cow what do, okay first off let's figure out what this truck is i think it's a deadbolt that looks like the deadbolt or the jeep front bumper with the coolest Merca Ford body on it. It's like a, what, early 90s, late 80s body style, maybe. Two-door Ford, long box. Got some sweet, sweet tires. These things are, this looks like a tractor pull truck. That's what this thing is. Yeah, this is awesome, dude. Love the green. Love the scale size of it because it fits this well, but it just is a lot more detailed because it's an actual, looks like a model or something. The course is sick. You got log climbs here, rocks here, dirt, hill, corner, up and around. Dang, got the flags. Eight, six, seven's probably over here somewhere. Popsicle stick fence, flags. Dude, this thing is sick. This is an all-out garage board. And, of course, you got the expo with the whiteboard. Got to write down times. You and your buddies definitely doing time trials. Why wouldn't you? Dang, dude. Look. Oh, dang. We got more trucks. Got the Chevy. Dude, this course is sick, dude. I want to drive this. Dang. Got more rocks back there. Who knows how far this thing goes. If five and six are here, one, oh, one's right there. Okay. I was going to say, it might go... It might go on forever. Blossom Raceway. Man, this is legit. I don't know how long this took you to do or how long you've been working on it, but very, very awesome, man. Very cool. Oh, and there's seven photos. Okay, buckle up, guys. We're about to see some sh All right, we got the, looks like, stock Jeep. I can get behind that. These little lights are awesome. These stadium lights. This must be for, like, a train tra train set or something, train track accessories. been looking at train model stuff for, like, accessories and stuff. They got so much so much stuff looks like a sweet bridge got the the string holding up the wooden bridge american flag in the background my man got this sweet log crawl this looks cool up and over they're all kind of like glued together but very very cool texture i don't know what this truck is i don't know if it's just another custom body on an scx yep those look like scx 24 links and shocks some treal wheels and tires on a i'm gonna say ford raptor yeah that's a Ford Raptor. Maybe just an F-150, but I'm pretty sure this is a Raptor, though. Yeah, a little starting area, a little dirt, some ferns. Got the broken bricks, probably started with this. And then we're like, man, I need some rocks to crawl. Oh, what do we got back here? Anything interesting? What's this? The shop vac? It's just going to become I spy of what I can see in someone's photos. <laughs> I tell you what, anyone watching this, if you're going to go in and uh, start posting pictures, try and put stuff in the background. Hide things in the background. See if I notice. Just goofy little stuff. Could be, you know, something way in the back. Could be something right off the edge of a photo. But if you're going to start posting photos, have some fun with it. I think it'd be entertaining. I love that this is all on one wall, though. It's off to the side. You're not taking up the whole shop. What else we got? A right, little clear photo. This is definitely a Ford Raptor. I like all the different textures and styles. So you got, like, you know, sand, dirt, wood, rocks, more rocks, more dirt. So cool. Dang, how many trucks you got? Did I see that one before? What's that? Nope, that looks new. Got all the trucks. Oh, we get a better look at this uh, Ford back here, too. What are you hiding in the back? Got the dual stacks. Fan. <laughs> oh, TV? Dang, dude. Hold up. Is that a Kia? <laughs> got, the, uh, got the light here. Got the intercom system for when the wife or husband, you know, we never know, is calling you. Dinner's ready. Hurry up. Got the number nine hat. Clearly a NASCAR fan. And what else we got back here? Now we're just creeping, man. Doing the creep. Like this barrel, Napa, Stutz, Stutz, I don't know, old car stuff. It's pretty cool, man. Very cool. And then leaving it off, maybe. Yep, 7 out of 7. Ending us with the sweet Ford again. Love it. Very cool. All the little trees, all the rope 
roped off areas, you know, all the dividers with all the, I mean, this looks like you were actually going to a, you know, crawling competition somewhere. Broke down fence, but that's fun. Beer caps hanging out. Yeah. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, moving on. Money Man 0101. I was going to say 001. That's not, that's not right at all. This is pretty sick. Okay, got the deadbolt outside crawling on some rocks. Got the sun. I mean, this guy's a photographer, clearly. You get that lens flare down here. That's all artistic nice. I like that. Hanging out, looking at the trees, the rolling hills. This looks like an evergreen tree. You might be in Washington, Oregon, somewhere nearby, doing some rock crawling, man. That's sick. Love the deadbolt. This was the color of my very first uh, SCX24. This is this one right here. Deadbolt in the mountains. Good flex test. See, this thing's totally stock, and I bet you're still having an absolute blast with it. That's the cool thing about these. They don't have to be heavily modified to have fun with them. And, and realistically, sometimes they do even better. I do see you got some wheel weights in there. And that is a very simple, really awesome first modification. Just get a little more weight down low. Keeps them a little more stable. These look like the uh, hot racing wheel inserts. Maybe something you got on eBay, an off-brand or something. But they fit in there great. I'm all about buying that cheaper off-brand stuff. I mean, brass is brass. If they can see and see it to fit, pfft. Go for it. Okay, we got the uh, the suspension modification. I've seen some people do this. I haven't done this on mine yet, but this suspension's laid out a little back here. You do get a little more flexibility out of it, I believe. Um, the only reason I haven't done this on any of mine is just because they do sit a little higher, but I know a lot of people like moving it back here, so good on you, man. Do what works best for you. Very, very cool. We got a little strap up here or something holding the light. If I was going to suggest an upgrade, if you're, if you're going to do any more upgrades, the next one you should do is a steering servo or glue that servo saver but if you do you're probably going to burn that servo out so if you're going to invest any more money in this and you're looking to see what the next one would be my suggestion steering servo those things go quick but this is very very cool money man 0101 i almost said 001 again <sighs> this guy's james bond in me <laughs> jason's rc baby digger why is it not loading <laughs> this is the one i was talking about where's that where's that yes this is the guy I saw this video, I was so excited, it's catching on. He even said he's he's pretty sure he's got the third one in the world, or at least on YouTube. Lyle had the first one, I got the second. He's got the third. It's got some sweet green treel, I think, probably. Suspension, got the red tint on the windows. The back is modded. I mean, this thing is awesome. This guy, I think this looks better than mine. He did a really good job on it. Got these mud slingers, these super aggressive tires on these treel rims. This thing is so cool badass new bright i think this is a different body that's probably why it looks a little different yeah so so awesome if you haven't seen this video you should go check this guy's video out jason's rc's it's a really really neat truck and he did an awesome job on it yep this is uh the, the flipped bumper mod so this might be the jeep or this might be the deadbolt i can never really tell brass knuckles yeah these aggressive tires these are just so good this looks like the gravedigger had an original like panel van the original first grave digger looked a lot like this one he has the obviously the updated graphics and stuff on this but these wheels and tires with this shaped body remind me of the original grave digger very very cool and i love the red tinted windows did an excellent job man super super awesome so happy to have another baby grave digger out there i wish this first photo would load i don't know what happened such a good truck what we got here crawlaholics all right, all right. Another Chevy. Chevy's popular. Got the hot racing shocks. Turned down a little for more compression. Not sure what these wheels are. Probably Treel. Got some BF Goodriches on there. Very nice. Oh, we got all kinds of trucks. Okay. Got the Axial Chevy. We got a highly modified Betty. Yep, got the red Treel on there. Got some modifications. Got some stickers. This looks like a pretty sweet course, too, dude. Dang, look at this. It goes all the way back here. I didn't even see this. I was looking at the trucks. This is a crawling course, my dude. Dang. It goes all the way through the yard. I want to crawl here, too. Each one of these posts I review comes with a free invite to come hang out. <laughs> all right. Got the lead weights on the front. Good, good, good. Great for incline crawling. Getting some weights up front. Very awesome. Dude, this course is sick. Look at this. Look at all this stuff. This is what I want my, my outdoor course to look like. It's not going to be nearly this cool. Whoa. We got hands. Ladies and gentlemen, we found him. We got him. Caught him red-handed. It's not red, but we found his hands. Crawling the uh, crawling the Chevy on the sweet course. So cool. Oh, Cardinal Sin. Can't leave this flap up. 
It's not allowed. You can't be doing that. <laughs> this is super... Oh, geez, you got all the SCX24s. Look at these. Got a couple twin Jeeps out here. One super modified. Dang. Got the roof rack, the snorkel, the mirrors. All the upgrades. That's sick. This one's pretty modified, too, actually. Doesn't have all the 3D printed stuff on there, but... These two Jeeps are awesome. Man, I bet you and your buddies have some serious fun out here. You even got the tarp thrown up. Be out here in the rain, or at least in the shade. Oh, yeah, rope bridge. All of it. Just kicking it. So cool. I love the accessories on here. This is really neat. You guys are giving me great ideas for my outdoor course, though, for sure. Got the Emax servo, I'm telling you. Best servo you can get for these things. Super easy to install. Dude, you got all the upgrades. So we got the servo, brass diff cover, links, hot racing suspension, brass knuckles, brass wheel weights, brass hexes. I uh, don't think I didn't see those. Nice job. Trio wheels, front bumper, hot racing. What else? Oh, what else we got in here? What is this? Is that a motor or something? That looks like it has a heat sink on the side. All of the... All of the... <laughs> 3D printed parts. Yeah, I think that's a heat sink on a modded motor or something. I want to know what that is too. Someone let, me know, someone let me know what that is. If you know what that is, let me know. That thing is cool though. That's a, a heck of a Jeep right there, man. Nice job. Oh, and then we're back to last week's. All right, we got through them all, guys. Nice job. There was some, I mean, this is a long video. There were some serious, I'm going to have to start shortening these up or saving some for next time, but some really, really awesome, awesome posts and i'm really excited that this is catching on we got a lot more people in here so cool i want to thank all you guys for posting sharing commenting and just overall having a good time here this is awesome i mean y'all did great everybody i'm really really happy with it and i want to thank all of you guys again it's super cool if you guys are interested in joining and you already haven't check out upper left submissions on reddit uh you can join you don't have to join you can just post and yeah, share. I'm going to start doing this once a week. Every Saturday video is going to be the Reddit review for the upper left submissions. And uh, if you want to get featured, throw something on here. I am happy to take a look at your guys' stuff. There's so many cool things. I'll see you guys next time in tomorrow's video. Well, I'll see you in tomorrow's video and I'll see you on Reddit next Saturday. Take it easy, guys.